before how do i show on. that something is continuously connected to the identity i uh, just uh, basically have to show that it has that form right in this case you know it'll be you'll just have one you know you'll just have one uh you basically have to find out what X is, right? But I already give you what X is. So. I see. Okay. Yeah, more than the computation, you know, see that you understand why it is that we can write it in this form. The continuous uh, the elements Sorry, which are continuous. Is there any geometric way to understand why it it's an exponential? Um, yeah, 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 there is. I mean, yeah, it's called a, so there's something called an exponential map. So, uh, okay, so the geometric comment, so you have had some differential geometry, right? Yeah. Yeah, so essentially what's happening is that if you have some, you know, curved space time, space manifold, and suppose you're, you take a point, and you take a tangent space at that point, right? So you have some tangent vectors. And what are these tangent vectors? They are going to be, they're, they're, you know, they're tangent to some integral curves, right? So uh, that's how we define, uh, you know, these tangent vectors. So um, now you know that you can, uh, you can lead drag stuff along these tangent vectors, right? If I give you a one of these curves, there is some parameter t along this curve, and you can, um, you know, you can map uh, a vector which is on this tangent plane to another vector over here, right? Parallel transport. It's not a parallel transport. It's a lead transport. For parallel transport, you actually need a, uh, you need a, you need some sort of a, um, a connection. We don't need a connection here. Okay. So, uh, and what is happening is that, you know, as you keep doing this, it actually forms a, a one parameter abelian subgroup. So the map along this act, along this, you know, in the direction of the tangent vector here, that forms a one parameter subgroup of your group. And this, you know, this trans this translation along this tangent curve is known as the exponential map. Okay, so this is known as the exponential map. So, you know, you basically what you have is that you have some tangent vector and on this manifold, you have some, uh, you know, you have some uh, curve along which this tangent Oh, sir, in case you are there, like we can't hear you.
Hello? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Yeah, I am back now. Sorry. I, uh, I, okay, good. Thank you. So let me share again. Uh, Okay, so what I was saying is, uh, I don't know which point uh, I cut off. Uh, what I want to say is that, so the parameter space of a continuous group is a manifold. And uh, so if you choose some point to be the identity, suppose that point is P, then as you change the parameter theta, what happens is that all these, uh, the generators, what they do is that they give you locally the tangent vector. So as you change theta in one direction, what you are doing is that you're moving around the, along the integral curve of that tangent vector. The integral curve is the curve to which the tangent vector is locally uh the tangent to so um so what theta is giving you is that it's taking you along this curve on your manifold and for a given theta and for a given x you know this curve on the manifold actually forms a an abelian subgroup okay so the interpretation of this formula is that of this formula is that you are it's you are it's it's exponential map you are moving along the integral curve of an abelian uh, of some abelian uh, you know subgroup okay 